Puppy, a park, and a police officer. That became a lethal combination for a boxer hound mix once known as Parker. You see Parker right there. An off-duty deputy shot and killed the one-year-old dog at Runny Van Zandt Park in Clay County. And tonight, the dog's owner is demanding answers. It's a story you'll only see right here on First Coast News. On your side, Ann Schindler spoke exclusively with the dog's owner, who just returned from overseas. Miranda Abbas had just finished her last deployment with the Navy and was traveling overseas when she got the news. Her friend, who is dog sitting, texted her with a message so terrible that she initially didn't think it could be true. <laughs> Super high energy. I've had so many dogs over the years, and he's like the first one that I've had that was like really, really enjoyed fetch and like took bring bring the ball back every time. Miranda Abbas adopted Parker last July. Found Parker and kind of just fell in love. At barely 40 pounds, she describes him as outgoing but docile. He never, ever it, like had an ounce of aggression in him. Which made the text she got last Saturday all the more shocking. That he had killed him. <laughs> the shooter, Clay County Sheriff Lieutenant Mark Cohen, told police he thought Parker was a pit bull. The dog was 300 feet away and off leash when Lieutenant Cohen says he began charging at him at full run. In fear for his safety and his dog, a miniature schnauzer, he drew his Glock and fired. The woman who was dog sitting Parker did not want to go on camera, but says the responding officer told her there would be no criminal charges filed. He was acting in self-defense, that there was nothing that she could do, that basically it was that he could shoot my dog and then like walk away from it and continue living his life. <laughs> Initially I was just in shock. I mean, I literally could not believe what I was hearing. Kelly Crable runs First Sister's Pet Rescue and is also Miranda's neighbor. I know the dog and I know how friendly he is. She calls the fact that the officer's first reaction was to shoot a failure of training. You did not have to shoot him. I just, it's horrible and it's wrong. She wants the incident to force the sheriff's office to step up officer training. Parker did not die in vain in that, you know, he goes on in people's memories and as a really sweet, friendly dog that didn't deserve what he got. As for Miranda, who just returned to town two nights ago, she's still trying to process what happened. Going last night and picking up his ashes and like seeing the paw print that they give you with them and like how tiny and little his paw print is and just to think that somebody thought that like <laughs> a dog Um, it's just been a lot to process. Now, Clay County does have a leash law. The woman who was walking the dog and dog sitting Parker told me that she was unaware of the leash law and is devastated by what happened. As for the officer, he's not going to face any discipline. I got a statement from the Clay County Sheriff's Office earlier. They said this is a non-offense case closed. Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side.